Hey, what's going on, Shrimp Cubers? We're actually at my house right now, uh, up in the office, getting some emails done. I'm way, way, way behind. Um, I just had Jeff over, my intern that helped me for a long time, and uh, we're just hanging out, catching up, so that was good fun. But uh, today is Saturday, which means it's Shrimp Saturday. I got a, a short video for you guys, but I really wanted to make this one because I've been getting so many questions about this lately. And uh, today, what we're going to talk about for Shrimp Saturday is... Uh, temperature in a shrimp tank you know what what temperature is good for shrimp what's uh what's great for them what's going to help them breed the most different things like that so uh, we're just going to get right into it so let me flip the camera around and show you uh this little tank that i got on my desk so to get right into it uh first off we're looking at uh my little nano tank on my desk that needs constant top offs but uh so what is the the magic temperature for shrimp and, uh, and it's a loaded question because a lot of temperatures work. So let me start by first telling you um, that I ship a lot of shrimp. I ship them all across the United States. And, uh, and I'm comfortable shipping them into anything above 20 degrees and less than uh, 95 degrees. That's, that's my range. So I found that shrimp will survive temperatures, um, their actual water temperature of the bag, anywhere between 36 and 90. You don't want it going any higher than that or any lower than that because that's when they start dying. So shrimp are very resilient, especially, uh, you know, shrimp that, you know, coming straight from me, if, if you guys buy them from me, I know you guys, you know, a lot of you get, live in Europe and, and different parts of the world. But if you do buy them from me, you're getting them direct from me. So they're a little bit healthier than, say, trans-shipped uh, shrimp or shrimp that are coming from a third party. And so they do a little bit better. But I've never had a problem with shrimp getting shipped into weather that is is a little extreme not too extreme and so anywhere above freezing and and below like really really hot temperatures is going to be a good and so knowing that shrimp are very resilient and they survive um, these pretty large swings in temperatures um, now the the question is you know how how what you know what temperature do i keep my tank at and so i want to say a good temperature because i actually keep shrimp at this is anywhere between 60 and 78. Um, the lower number, so 60 degrees, uh, between 60 and 66 degrees, uh, they're, they're, they're going to do okay. They're really going to go into somewhat of a hibernation mode. They're not going to eat too much, but they will live. And, and I've kept them at that for, you know, months with no problem, you know, over the winter, and, and they've done fine. So um, I definitely am not worried about that. But if you go to the extreme, you know, anywhere between 72 uh, to 78, uh, I want to say that's kind of like running nitrous oxide in a car. So it's extremely fast. Like, you know, if you're driving a car with nitrous oxide, you're going really fast. Um, it's a lot of fun. Things are going great. But if one mistake happens, you know, you really, you really can get hurt and things can go bad quick. So shrimp are the same way. If you're running your tank high temperature, uh, you're going to get a couple things. Your shrimp are going to grow faster. They're going to eat more. But uh, they run the chance of getting a bacterial infection. So a lot of bacteria thrives in temperatures, um, you know, in the higher 70s, you know, even sometimes even at 72. It just depends. So keeping your tank at lower temperature is really going to reduce the amount of bacteria and bacterial infections you will get in your shrimp. So that's one thing to know. But I always say this. Shrimp are great. Um pet to have that just are in an aquarium. Uh, you don't really need a heater for them. I don't agree with heaters. I don't use heaters in any of my tanks. As long as your house is between 60 degrees and 78 degrees, you're going to be fine because when it is really hot out, like it's not going to be hot out all the time. It's not going to be hot out every single day for, you know, two years unless you live in certain parts of the world. But at least where I live, like it's not that way. And so um, anywhere between 60 the 78 you're going to be okay just monitor the extremes of that so like i said anywhere above 72 monitor it anything below 66 monitor it uh the magic number that i found is i keep all my tanks uh at 70 to 72 degrees um some get up to 73 and i've had really good success with that so if you guys are just getting into this i uh, just know that set your tank up keep it in your house um the majority of the time your house temperature is a good temperature for the shrimp. Um, again, I would always encourage you to have a bigger tank because the bigger your tank, the less the, um, the less the swings will be in the temperature. So let's say if your temperature at night is, you know, 68 degrees and your temperature during the day is 72, 
Uh, the swings aren't going to happen very quickly in a large body of water like a 10 gallon tank whereas if you have a, a 1.5 gallon tank or so on or so forth uh, just a smaller tank those changes are going to happen a lot more rapidly which could result in stress of your of your shrimp so um, yeah so I would I would encourage you guys uh, definitely keep them at room temperature unless you're having some extremes and then if you do have to buy heater which I don't I don't have heaters in any of my tanks I would buy a very nice heater that you know is going to be accurate and it isn't going to fluctuate drastically and, and stress out the shrimp and it isn't going to go bad in a year and so just keep those things in mind so that's all I really got to say about temperature hopefully that answered a lot of your questions um, I'll be paying attention to um, to comments on this video so if you do have questions about this uh, about temperature maybe I missed something please put it in the comments and I'll either address it in the next video or I'll, I'll shoot you a comment back but um, I hope you guys are having a great weekend again happy shrimp Saturday I uh, love doing these videos and hopefully you guys are still getting some information out of this and and uh, just hopefully I'm helping you guys grow in the hobby and that's what it's all about. So you guys make it an absolute great weekend. Be safe out there and I will talk to you guys soon. Later.